if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tabika and I am here with my first project as a design team member for Yishuan Scrapbooking. I did an unboxing of all the products that Dora sent me. I will have that linked down below in the description box. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, you can see everything that I will be working with over the next month. This in particular is the stamp and die set that I'm gonna be working with right now. It's the birthday celebration cutting uh, clear stamp. And it's a really cute bird stamp, so come and see me <laughs> fumble over coloring until I get better um, and laugh with me. Let's go. Okay, so today I will be using Lawn Fundamentals Clear Embossing Ink and some black embossing powder. I have already stamped my images and I am going to heat emboss them um, just to try different technique instead of just plain stamping to see if, you know, I can color with these. Um, well, this won't make me color better, but uh, maybe the ink won't. Um, spread or slide when I add the wet paint to it so I decided to go ahead and try to heat emboss these and plus I don't have to double stamp which I would risk having double images on my one particular stamps and then um, it'll be a sharper brighter darker black if that makes any sense so um, they all came out really really good so I'm just getting a little uh, sheet protecting a little plastic sheet uh, to protect my surface. I'm using uh, watercolor pencils, expert brand by Arteza. Um, I will have this link down below as well, a little water cup and some water. And I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, painting with these watercolor pencils. So I heard a lot of good things about them, so I'm excited to give them a try. I have my little paint brushes and then a water brush pen. Um, although I'm not using it with water, I'm just dipping it and cleaning it. But you could put water in this little uh, pen marker thing and then you can just lightly dip out the water as you need to. But obviously, I like to do things the hard way. So I'm just going to dip it with two different pens. Okay. So I go through and I choose all so many options. <laughs> 72 pencils. I was like, uh, maybe I should have just got 12 and had the least amount of options because this was a lot. But they all color so beautifully and so smoothly on this watercolor paper. Um, and it's cold pressed watercolor paper that I'm using. I'm using circles. Um, I end up doing this set of images a second time because I wanted a more vibrant color because I chose a different pattern paper. But I did keep these images as well. But I just wanted to keep this visual here to show you how I was water coloring. So I circled in circles or scribbled in circles and then went over with a little water to kind of pull that color out. Um, and I think they turned out really cute. I wanted this brown bird. I was going to do a neutral color card, but I changed my mind at the end. I'm going to give them to my nieces and I tried to, you know, add like a little lighter peach to it. I was like, well, I really want some pinks and blues and some vibrant colors. So I decided halfway through this coloring that I was going to go with lighter colors, but I just wanted to finish, um, you know, what I was doing this set here. So, um, at any rate, I continue to go back and forth with these colors to kind of get a feel of how many times, whether I want to douse it with the napkin or don't. So I realized later that I don't like dousing midway through because it takes away so much of the color. So what I decided to do for the other images is just let it dry. Just let it be. But I do like that particular bird. And purple is not my favorite color. Uh, everyone knows that. But actually this little uh, bird looks cute in purple. So um, I, I chose a really dark color purple. So um, I'm not very excited about the texture in the watercolor on the next set of coloring um things that i did the next set of the this stamp i did it on the opposite side the side that is not as textured the smooth side um and then i like those a little bit better but the ridges i know that they hold ink and they're supposed to be there but um, i, I kind of was not feeling them as much as the smooth side um but at any at any rate i picked these two purple colors one is a darker color than the other and I'm like uh-uh don't dap it to make a dang it I dapped it and now I go back and I add the the darker color to the edge because girl I was trying to do some shading I don't know I just thought I was doing something so I figured I want the whole situation to be to be purple and I and I go ahead and I just mix those in and boom see how vibrant that is now I really like it okay I think I do better with these watercolor pencils than I do with Copic markers um, but I do have some marker markers watercolor markers and watercolor crayons on the way 
so maybe those will be a little bit different than these but i kind of like this feel this control feel of on off and um yeah so i'm like okay stop dabbing with the dog on water i just wasn't getting it like i said i figured not to do this halfway through but uh apparently i just like the back and forth of of the water so anyway i continue to keep doing this until i get the desired you know color that i'd like the desired amount of distributed purple that i would prefer and um i keep playing with this back and forth but when i went to the second set i was like okay i know how to do this and then we just continue on coloring the rest of the images so our journey with this color palette ends soon and i'm like okay they they turned out really cute not too much of a big fan of the blue one at the bottom but these colors i said um i didn't color the whole thing because i wasn't going to use all of the images so i said okay i'm just going to use the four that i really liked that bottom one it was giving me some trouble so i said uh ah, maybe mm, maybe i'll finish it i'll put it off to the side and we'll see what we're going to do with it later and then i cut out all the ones that i want using my diamond press and the coordinating dies to go with this set really cuts out nicely one pass through and this is how all of my little nice lo lovely fluffy vibrant colors turn out so i'm using a happy birthday dye that i had in my collection and this watercolor paper that i got from joann's and i am just going through and seeing how i want my card to go like i said these are going to go to my little nieces so they just like colors and vibrant and they just want something from auntie so i wanted to go with some light and like pastel colors plus those are my favorite color palettes anyway so it worked out so win-win so i cut this into a mm, half half slimline card it's a chunky slimline but i like i like it um plus i had to accommodate this happy birthday dye i used some adhesive spray to apply that silver paper which is from cardstock warehouse mirror silver um to do the top layer of that happy birthday put that back on some foam dots and then also put foam dots on the back of that happy birthday and my little birds and then this centered that right at the top offset with the little colors perfect and so i'm like oh yeah they're gonna go right there on the side yes the pop dots added such a nice um just a dimension to the card and i added some little heart birthday uh heart stickers to that birthday card and i was done and then of course i did the other two the same way i used this little um the peach side of that card stock and added the pop dot still added some more hearts to that and uh, did the same thing that i did to the first card i always add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of my pop dots so that the the images can stay on there um really really nicely so i just swipe it with just a little bit of hot glue and and that's it Okay, I think these cards turned out super cute. Um, again, my coloring is not the best, but I am working on it. I have done it so many times. I'm working and working and working. So practice makes perfect or almost perfect because nobody is perfect. But I will continue to keep practicing until I can color something that I am super happy with. Um, but I am happy about this card. I think it's really cute. Um, the little images um, are so adorable. The die cuts really, really nice. And then here's the other one that I created. So cute. Now these will go to my nieces. They'll be happy that they got some cards and they'll be like, oh, this is so you auntie and yeah these aren't gonna go to crafty people at the moment because they're gonna look at this color and be like oh my god Tamika what are you doing but all in all I think it turned out really really cute so I'm gonna continue to keep playing and I want you guys to check out the links in the description box for these um images and um yeah I'll see you guys in another video Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to please take a moment and hit that like button. Bling. Let me know what you think about this video. And um, you can talk about me in the comments. I'm okay. Let's be nice though. Just talk nicely. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.